It's a constant challenge for parents and teachers when it comes to students learning during the pandemic. Experts say a lack of routine, remote learning, school closings, and self-isolation during these tough times can be harmful to a child's education. Now to your side's Adriana Hargrove spoke to local school officials on how this has affected them and what they plan to do moving forward. Angie and Ken, school officials from P.S. Jones Middle School in Beaufort County says they are looking for ways to improve learning loss in children and focus more on what they think is important. Timothy Ratliff, the assistant principal for P.S. Jones Middle School, says teachers and staff work on everything they can to try to close the learning gap that the pandemic has caused amongst students. We've all been for a long time trying to close the gap, the, the learning gap that's been in the news a lot, you know, before. Um, and it's, it's kind of the same sort of thing, but now it's just a little bit bigger because we had those, those years where it was kind of bouncing back and forth. He adds the pandemic has shown a light on the learning gap among students that school systems have been dealing with. It's really kind of focused all of our energy on we need to do more and what can we do to support our students and not just this group or that group, but all the students and all the groups. And school counselor Anna Hodges says while some students have adjusted well to pandemic changes, she adds some are still being impacted. There are some students that are able to go back and forth between in-person and virtual learning and they don't miss a beat. But there are some students that, you know, they were home all last year doing virtual learning and now coming back into the classroom with all the students changing classes, you know, the loud cafeteria, just all the things have been really challenging for them. And to help with the continued changes and impacts of COVID is having, school officials say with the help of state and federal funding, Beaufort County schools have been able to make adjustments as a whole, including hiring more staff like instructional coaches. In studio, Adriana Hargrove, nine on your side.